guys, welcome back to Presume Legal. I am Misha Janice. I am an entrepreneur and an attorney licensed in both New York and Florida. So we have been looking at the events surrounding the murder of FSU law professor Dan Markell. Um, we have been following the cases that have uh, that have come down. We know that the hitmen um, have been convicted and are serving time in prison right now. And we also are awaiting um, Donna Adelson, who is the former mother-in-law of the victim. Uh, we're awaiting her trial to begin at the end of September. At the time of filming this, it is currently uh, February 2024. This video is just a quick update to uh, to let you know, to inform you that there has been a new search warrant in Donna's case that's been filed and uh, ordered by the court. We've seen multiple search warrants have been filed and that have been approved by Judge Everett, uh, searching you know things such as the laptops found in uh, Donna and Harvey's home, um, as well as the iPhones owned by both Donna and Harvey. <laughs> I think everybody remembers the incident at the time of Donna's arrest where, you know, she kind of grappled. She's a scrappy one. She kind of grappled with FBI agent Pat Sanford with her phone. Um, when he tried to reach for it, we saw on that uh, that body worn camera the famous scene of her, you know, you know, reaching back and pulling back when he reached for her phone and saying stuff like, uh, "My my lawyer told me not to give it away," and Harvey also chiming in, putting his two cents in there, you know, saying that they don't want to hand over the phone. Well, authorities have the phone, and authorities had previously received an, a search warrant for looking through the phone. They originally got the search warrants for the phone back at the time or close to around the time of the arrest in in November of 2023, which was approximately four months ago. A new search warrant, a new application and affidavit for a search warrant was recently filed and uh, Judge Everett signed this new updated um, search warrant and I just wanted to share with you guys uh, what it is, the purpose of it, what they're trying to find, and just to go quickly over it. So let me share my screen really quick. All right, here we go. So if you guys have seen the uh, the prior application and affidavits for a search warrant, it's pretty much the same, the same form. This has been updated with a little bit of additional new information, um, which has led the investigators to seek this um, additional warrant to further inspect Donna's iPhone. So the facts of the probable cause we, I think, all know them at this point. I'm not going to belabor the point. I'm not going to read through the entire thing. But it basically goes through the facts of the whole case from the day of uh, the murder of Dan Markell to um, who Dan Markell was, his relation to the Adelsons, um, their relation to the individuals that actually committed the the act um, of murder and it goes through um, the investigation a little bit 
you know, how they spoke with Wendy and how they tried to speak with the parents, Donna and Harvey. Um, but they quickly left Tallahassee without letting the Tallahassee police department know that they were leaving, despite the fact that they had said that they were, they were going to remain there and speak with the police department. So, um, the new information comes about on page four, where it states on February 20th, 2024, which is what, three days, three or four days ago. On February 20th, 2024, your affiant was advised there was new technology that would allow for a full cell phone extraction. At this time, the state would be seeking a refreshed search warrant for Donna Adelson's cell phone for any applications or evidence of moving money, accessing financial accounts, or scheduling and booking travel plans to evade apprehension. Also, any documents, files, or other items pertaining to finances or financial adjustments made by the Adelsons or other communications, photos, videos, or evidence related to the homicide of Daniel Markell. So they're basically, in this particular search warrant, they're seeking just a renewed, a refreshed um, opportunity to look into her phone, to delve deeper, to use this new technology, whatever it is, um, to uh, more finely inspect what is in that white iPhone. So, um, you know, I, I like everybody else, am waiting with bated breath to see what evidence they're going to find to see, you know, if there's a smoking gun somewhere, no pun intended, somewhere in, you know, either the, the iPhones owned by Donna or Harvey or the laptops, which were also seized um, and searched. Um, we're not going to know until trial, uh, Donna's trial, which starts the end of September of this year. So, um, you know, put all your good thoughts out for, for Georgia Kappelman, for the entire state attorney's office, um, for health, for wisdom, for knowledge in knowing how to proceed best in securing more full justice for Dan Markell and for the family of Dan Markell, um, who is still you know, suffering immensely at the loss of the son, the brother, you know, the, the father, um, the brother-in-law. So, you know, good thoughts to everybody up there. Um, and that's all that I have for you today. This was just a little quick update and make sure please to like this video and uh, subscribe to the channel so that you can stay up to date with any other information that I have for you. So that will be it for me. Have a wonderful weekend to everybody out there. All the best. Until next drop. Peace. <laughs>